Hey, how are you doing? I hope you have a great day so far. And yeah, it's time for a new video. Uh, you know, I recently got a package of a friend and he asked me about his about my opinion about it. And yeah, you probably have heard about it. Um, it has been quite famous in a, let's say, rather... Um, there was a lot of hate uh, regarding the person that released it and I was never really interested into buying it because the way to get it was too complicated for my taste like I would have loved to try it out but there was no chance besides um, uh, buying samples and I never really made a made a move towards that and the fragrance i'm gonna talk about is um fragrance one by um i believe his real name is jeremy williams but his he's more known for his name jeremy fragrance and yeah um yeah i think i will just um uh, limit it to the fragrance itself. I'm not going to talk too much about the person behind it. I just know that he um, that he got um, a perfumer who also made the Aqua di Gios for Armani. And I also heard that it has some Aventus Sauvage um, Aqua di Gio vibes. But let's see what I think about it. So I'm gonna spray this. Okay, wow, well, I'm getting a huge, huge blast already. Um, wow, it's very strong. Yeah, it definitely smells um, fruity, but not necessarily um, like Aventus. Hmm. Not too sure about this right now. You know, I don't like aquatic fragrances in general. Like there are of course some that are great I, oh, my cat is just showing up here. Look at that. Say hello. Oh, she's jumping on the table. Okay, yeah. Our cats are allowed to do basically everything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and, okay. It really reminds me a lot of Aqua Di Gio in a... Uh, the classic Eau de Toilette one in a more sweet version. I have to say... Not the biggest fan right now. It's just... It reminds me a lot of, of, of these designer freshies. Regarding the price point, which is, I think, 200 euros or something like that. No... I probably would not buy it. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. I will spray because I don't know why I cannot smell it so good. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. It's weird. Normally, I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like Aqua Dio with some fruits in it, not necessarily pineapple. So I don't see the Aventus comparison. But yeah, I think you can find um, similar fragrances for a lot less money, but it's definitely not a bad fragrance. Like um, I would give it like a six out of 10. Yeah. Um, ah, and the perfumer, I think he, uh, he got for this fragrance is Alberto Morias and yeah. So, whew, 
probably it's going to be a, a, um, a crowd pleaser. I wouldn't have expected anything else from, from, from Jeremy Fragrance, to be honest. And yeah, I mean, if you have a chance to sample it, do it. I would not buy it just because of some hype or some hopes or, or something. I would try it out definitely because it's not that not very not very cheap. And yeah, that's that. Maybe I'm gonna do another video later because I don't feel satisfied right now. I thought this would have become more dramatic in a good or bad way, but yeah. So maybe we see you later again and hope you have a great weekend so far. Bye.